I never understood why people on the internet would openly share their P.O. Box address to everyone else on the internet. I guess I can sort of understand if you have a huge following. It's basically to get free stuff. Let's let's be honest here. You know people are gonna send you awesome free stuff because fandom is weird. They're strangely obsessed with you and they idolize every single thing you do. I'm pretty sure everyone who shares their PO box doesn't do it just to get letters. And I'm sure some of you will say that you only do it for the letters and handwritten letters are so personal and the best. And I agree, handwritten letters are pretty great, but really? You only do it for the letters. You shut your goddamn mouth. I know in your heart you're expecting little trinkets and toys and clothing and snacks that are from halfway across the world. Basically a constant stream of loot crate items but you don't get them monthly. You get them every single day and they're free. And that sounds awesome and everything but I would assume that the negative would outweigh the positive. The negative being you have no idea who's sending it to you and what they're sending. Congratulations. You're popular on the internet. And we all know where that leads to. A cesspool of trolls, haters, and people who hate every ounce of your being. How are you not afraid that some of these people will send you something disgusting or potentially harmful? Now I know there's a lot of security measures that go through the postal system, like x-raying for explosives and scanning for hazardous materials, but I still wouldn't risk it. Maybe it's just me, but I wouldn't trust opening an anonymous package from the internet from someone who might actually hate my guts. Am I the only sane one around here? When you're little, it's like, I'll listen to mama, I won't take candy from a stranger. And now that you've grown up, it's like, F mama's advice, give me them snacks, people from around the world who I've never met and never talked to in my entire life. The worst has got to be when you see them opening the snack and eating it. I'm no postal systemologist, but I assume that the postal system isn't actively scanning for bodily fluids or the tampering of food items. Now put these two together and what the hell are you doing putting that anonymously sent Pocky in your mouth? No, that's not chocolate cream, that's covered biscuit snacks. You know how you hate getting dick pics? Well, congratulations. Now they have a way to send you physical photos hard copies of them. Guess what? They didn't send you 100% coconut oil. That's 95% coconut oil and 5% of their DNA. Wow, they got you a cute little mustache. But wait, don't put it on just yet because they didn't get that from a gift shop. They made it themselves with their special hair. So you might get crabs on your face. Cool, they sent you a Mario figurine, but it kind of smells weird. Not because it's a special rubber or anything, it's because it's been up their ass. Okay, maybe that one is something that you'd enjoy because it's a fetish of yours or something, but still. I'm surprised no one has made a video opening something disgusting and complaining about it. Although there was an annoying YouTuber who made a video where he opens a package and it blows up in his face. So that was pretty dumb. Speaking of explosives, maybe one day with the advancement of technology, someone's gonna be able to sneak that through security and someone on the other end is gonna have a bad time. In conclusion, popular influencers, as you're called these days, if you share your PO Box address on the internet, you better watch your back. And that sounds like a threat. It wasn't a threat, let's just be clear here, it was a warning. And that sounds bad as well. It's just a, a warning, a general warning to everyone to be safe on the internet. I wouldn't be in trouble right now if I didn't use a dramatic voice. What was I thinking? I don't know. Why would I say, you better watch your back. It's just a warning. Why, why, why would I say that? I feel like I'm going to be on some list now. Not that I wasn't before. I probably was. But now my name is like circled in red, underlined with arrows and highlighted. God damn it.